Mackay Becton bashed and bullied the Philadelphia Eagles. The big ticket was sensational on Sunday, so let's take a look at the All-22 and I'll show you why the Pancake Factory was open. Let's go. What's going on everybody, it's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back in the film room with another All-22 breakdown and today we have to take a look at Mackay Becton's performance against Philly. It was the most physically dominant performance I've seen in the NFL over the last five years. That's no word of a lie. Mackay Becton had six. Yes, that's right. Six pancakes against the Eagles. And this first one is outrageous. Mackay Becton, the big ticket, is number 77, the left tackle for the Jets. And off the snap, you're going to see Zach Wilson draw Philly offside. But have a look at what Mackay Becton does to Derek Barnett. Oh my god goodness. Not only does he throw him to the floor, just abuse him, but we're going to stand over him, we're going to point, and we're going to laugh. The big ticket is healthy, and he is back. And I warned people that he was playing well in the preseason, and you're seeing it come to fruition. Have a look at the power in this man's hands. Bang! That's an elite athlete, 270 pound man, and he gets thrown to the floor like a child. Makai Becton just dismisses him, and then he disrespects him too. This is outrageous. There's also some really nice nuance from Makai Becton. Focus on his right arm. He's going to control the wrist of Derek Barnett, not let him get into his chest, and that's why he's off balance and is so easily thrown to the floor. As I said, I love the confidence from Mackay. I love the chat. I love him pointing at him on the floor. And I know people are going to watch this and say, Luke, it's hands to the face though. This should be a flag. He's getting away with it. When the defensive end goes low and rushes around the outside, you can't punch him in the chest. There's going to be contact to the head. This is a great two-hand strike. Mackay Becton is physically dominant. And this is one of the best reps I've seen in a very long time. But guys, the fun's only just beginning. The Pancake Factory's only just opened. This time, Philly put number seven, Hassan Reddick, their pro bowl rusher over Mackay Becton at the left tackle spot, and he gets the exact same treatment. Off the snap, I want you to focus on the movement skills of Mackay Becton and then the physicality on the back end. This is just nasty. This is elite left tackle play. Look at this, guys. His first three steps. Look at the fluid movement. Mackay Becton just shuffling like a dancing bear, but then bang, that big left hand just strikes Hassan Reddick and he throws him to the floor. This is just beautiful. It's teaching tape from Mackay Becton, but even more than that, it's intimidating. He is flat out bashing and bullying the Philadelphia defensive ends, and it is fantastic to watch. You do not see this happen to Hassan Reddick every day. The left hand punch, stand him up, and then get those hands inside to the chest and just throw him to the floor. The disrespect that Mackay Becton showed one of the best defensive lines in the country was real, and this is exciting because if he keeps playing at this level, the Jets are going to win a lot of football games. The big ticket just pancaked people all game long. So while the first couple of clips have been all about brute strength and punching your opposing man in the mouth, this one is nuance. It is technique and it is gorgeous from Mackay Becton. He's on the right hand side of your screen and he's going to come up against a long inside stab from Josh Sweat. How do you overcome it? How do you counter it? This is called a snatch and trap. Watch it at full speed. Mackay Becton's going to grab the left arm of Sweat. He pulls it down and just squishes him. That is teaching tape. If you looked up Snatch and Trap in the dictionary, you would get this clip from Mackay Becton. It is so technically proficient. Look how Josh Sweat wants to get length and extension into Becton's chest. Try and bull rush him. So what does Becton do? He just grabs him with two arms around the bicep and tricep. He then uses the force and throws him to the floor and traps him with two hands straight on his back. The snatch and trap is how you overcome a rusher who's getting out in front of their pads, is too aggressive, is trying to bull rush, and this is a fantastic example of how to execute. Mackay Becton isn't just about punching guys and throwing them to the floor. There is a technical element to his game, which is allowing him to succeed. But Mackay Becton had all the answers against the Eagles. On this occasion, the defensive end bottom of your screen is going to try and get vertical to the outside. Look at the patience from Mackay Becton. He's going to get out of his stance, let him get upfield, and then throw him to the floor. But it's the finishing. Gets him on the deck and then 
bang, we are going to send 350 pounds through that man's frame. We're going to let him know that we are here, that we are dominating, and we're in control. This is elite tackle play. I love the patience. This time he doesn't shoot his hands, he doesn't punch, and he just uses the lack of bend from the defensive end to throw him on the floor and work him around the corner. This is beautiful. There is so much variety in the way that he played in both his pass sets, his hand utilization. It was all there, and we know that Mackay Becton loves nothing more in the world than finishing. And on this occasion, you're going to see really similar execution and game plan from Makai Becton, but this time he's handling a stunt. He's going to take the lead and pass off the looper underneath. As we let this roll, focus your eyes left-hand side of your screen. Makai Becton, really nice vision, picks him up and then just throws him round the hoop. This is way too simple. It is not this easy to manhandle 290-pound defensive tackles, but Makai Becton was in his bag all game long. Again, it's the patience in his hand, how he works him around the corner, and then he gets him to his spot and just throws him to the floor. It's almost like Makai Becton was bored. He was disappointed that Philly were coming at him and attacking him with a stunt, and he handled it with such dismay. He just dismissed that defensive tackle. This is another great rep from Makai Becton. He won in a multitude of ways, and I keep saying this. It's so rare to see one of these reps in an NFL game. To have six of these takedowns is frankly absurd. But to finish the video, I wanted to focus on Makai Becton exploding out of his stance, whether that's in the running game or a quick pass set. He is so twitchy. Number 77, left-hand side of your screen. Look at Makai Becton just flatten Josh Sweat right here on the front of this play. That is absurd. Just bulldozes him. He flattens him like he's not even there. Now look, I gotta preface this and tell you the truth and mention that Josh Sweat, his right foot slips here. He tries to plant off his outside leg and it just gives way under the MetLife turf, but it's not gonna make a difference. When the big ticket's rolling in space, he is going to run over you because he is bigger, stronger, and faster than you are. And that's just another example of exactly that. But this clip here is great execution from Makai Becton. Quick pass set. We're going to get in the space of Josh Sweat, the defensive end, and bang. Look at the force in Makai Becton's two-hand punch. Off the snap, before Sweat can even get into his rush, freeze it right here. He is 15 yards away from Zach Wilson in the pocket. Makai Becton, with mixing up his tempo and utilizing his strength, has just not negated, but eliminated Josh Sweat from this play. This is beautiful. Great tempo, great explosion, great punch, and he is not able to affect the play. This is as good as it gets. We've seen Makai Becton on lots of the traditional pass sets, being patient, kick step, but he can just get in your face, take away your space, and bully you at the point of attack. What a phenomenal rep. So guys, there it is. The Pancake Factory was open for 60 straight minutes against the Eagles. Did Mackay Becton lose a rep or two? Yeah, he did. But this was one of the most special, dominant performances that I've seen in a long time.